hey, this tutorial is about a new Android setup in the Unreal 5.3 version of it and how you can build successfully a PK file and delete previous version of the Android Studio. So after the loading, let's open our new Android Studio to install it. Manager, and here we can press edit. Seems here I have already installed it from my previous version, so nothing to do. But if you need, so you need to check here and check here to enable it and just install it. After that, we need to select SDK tools. Uh, show package details is important and find the Android SDK command line here. And we need to press apply. I will skip. Now it's completed. So in Android Studio we have all done things. So if you had previously the older Android Studio, you need to change environment variables. Uh, but before that you need to restart your PC. So after restarting PC, we need to add changes in the environment variables. So we need to write Press here, and we have Java Home, Android SDK Home, uh, SDK Root, and this one. So these four, and basically what we can change. So we can just delete them. Android Home. Java Home, NDK root, and NDK root. But you can also edit them or add them uh, the documentation here that the Java Home, Android Home, and pass your location of SDK. So, like that. And it basically should work. But as you can see, this we can just delete environment variables and later with the Unreal setup Android script we can just pass it automatically so it can save our time so let's pre press ok now we need to open the engine only like that so we need to find the Unreal engine so this is my version 5.3 and here we need to find folder Engine extracts uh, 
here I said it's Android and set up Android. Success and great. So let's check just to test environment variables. So as you can see, we have right now MDK, SDK root, Android home. Seems all is fine. And Java home as well. So the script saves our time here. So after that, we need to restart our PC again. So after restarting, let's open Unreal project. It's my touch manager. I'm working a little bit on the update of it, and we need to add changes inside Unreal SDK paths. To set our NDK, SDK, GDK, and stuff like that. So we need to open Android SDK here. And we need to check the address if it's valid. So, and pass is here. So, we need to check. Here we have SDK here. Android SDK. Okay. Uh -huh, we have NDK, so let's check the folder. NDK, so we have NDK and 25.1. Okay, so we, we can also copy it and just let's try to go inside of it. So let's paste it like here. And we, we have here different versions of our NDK, so I'm going to use this one and paste it here. Oh, it's not the same, so my mistake. This one. Uh, it's important to not use GDK, but GRA. And it can be latest. So let's check how it will work. And package the project. Have an error, so let's fix it. So in this error, we have something with the Java Home. So let's check our environment variables. So we have Java Home here. Android, Android three. GPR. So it's different. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. So let's try to use this one. Clear lock and let's try again. Seems it works with the GDK right now. Let's wait to final version of it and for testing. Finally, we have the build. So 
it's interesting to see and let's close this tab and let's move to the apk file and here android so here it is we have our apk file and we successfully built the new unreal version so if you like this tutorial please press like and you can subscribe also <laughs> See you in the next video. I'm thinking to make the how to publish Android uh, app into the Google Marketplace.